you might notice that I've been doing more and more canning videos recently. And there's a reason for that. I am trying to fill my pantry shelves. But in the process of doing this, I thought of something. You know, many, many preppers might have a fatal flaw in their food storage. Let me explain. Now, as most preppers do, I have a lot of freeze-dried food. This is Mountain House. What is this one? Chicken teriyaki with rice. I bought it eight years ago. have not used it yet. It's part of my long-term food storage. And I have a lot of Mountain House and cans in other freeze-dried companies. I do have a lot of freeze-dried food. Now, some of you might be lucky enough to have your own Harvest Right freeze dryer and you're packaging your own. I do not have Harvest Right. Uh, this is a free sample given by the company. But you know, I also like to dehydrate, and so I have a lot of dehydrated goods. This is my potatoes, and they are simply lovely. Now, I also have a lot of store bought canned food and packaged food. Now, freeze-dried food storage has a lot going for it. I mean, this package is very lightweight. It's going to take up less storage space. It doesn't require refrigeration. It can store in excess of 25 years, as long as the temperature and conditions are correct. And it keeps most of its nutritional value. So yes, this is something as preppers, it is a good idea to store. However, maybe you shouldn't have this as your only food storage source. Because what's the fatal flaw? Water. A very precious resource. And all your freeze dry, and even your home dehydrated foods take water. Now, if you've been watching the local news, you've noticed that there is a drought, severe drought in a lot of areas. Water is increasingly scarce in the Western US where 72% of the region is in severe drought. 26% is in exceptional drought and the populations are booming. The past two decades have been the driest in the last 1,200 years in the West. Okay, so in some areas, water may be at a premium. There can also be a SHTF situation where water has been chemically altered, poisoned, so you can't use your normal sources of water. Now, of course, you should all have backup water, but they usually say you should depend on about one gallon per person for storage. And of that gallon, a half a gallon is what you should be drinking every day, they're saying. A quarter of a gallon is for preparation of food, and the other quarter is for hygiene needs. Now, if you live in where those severe temperatures are and you're working outside, you know, be it what was Vegas, 113, 115 degrees, you need to drink a lot more fluids than just a half gallon. So that gallon is just a suggestion more than anything else. But think of it, you have a quarter of that gallon, which would be 16 cups in a gallon, so that would be four cups of water to prepare your food. Well, things like this, it can take up quite a bit of water. I mean, this just gives you an example. Yep, it's already using, you know, let's say a cup and a half of water to make this, and that really is for one person, right? It says two servings, but you figure 400 plus calories for the meal. So it's going to be for one person. So for that small meal, you've already used up a cup and a half of water. If 
water is very precious and you're going to need water for an extended period of time and can't get it from your normal resources. Do you want to be using a lot of that water for your food preparation? If you're home canning goods, like this is turkey soup, it has a lot of broth in it. And in fact, to extend this meal, you could warm up the turkey and the carrots and the potatoes and onions, but you could use the broth to actually make your rice. So you would not be using any external source of water to make a meal. And that's what the advantages of a lot of home canned or even store-bought canned goods. Some of the canned goods from the store you can use straight from the can, others you just have to warm, but a lot of them, there's no need to add any additional water. Now, I do have water backups, okay? Live on a creek stream, it depends on the weather, um, that we could use our filters and make drinking water. I also have a rain barrel and we live on our own well, so I'm not depending on city sources, but I can also go in the basement and I have a system where I can flip a lever and actually pump water from my well directly into my house, even if we lose electricity. So I have a lot of backups, but still, what if water became very, very precious? You know, think of um, the old movie or science fiction novel called Dune, right? This could be worth thousands <laughs> right here. Water is extremely important. We need it to live. We need it for our crops. We need it for our hygiene. And you wouldn't want to use that other four cups available that you can use for hygiene instead use it for your cooking because it's important to keep up good hygiene in an SHTF situation otherwise you can become ill and right on key comes on my refrigerator to make a background noise but anyway am I saying don't store freeze-dried food no I'm not I'm saying don't depend on one type of food storage. Have a variety. Have your freeze dried. Have your home dehydrated. Have store bought canned goods. Have home canned goods. Have a variety of different food because you never know what the SHTF situation will be. And I recommend I make a lot of different fruit juices too. I can those up, but I recommend having a lot of juice, water, and other things stored in bottle format also, just in case. So, don't depend on just freeze-dried foods. Have a variety. Your life and your family's life may depend on it. As always, Please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.